Very good morning to all the plant enthusiasts out there. Uh, we are looking at a Apropranium amplicimum silver. A check out the silver on these leaves. This is a healthy plant. I've just uh, took out or uprooted the plant for reporting. I check out the root ball. Right, the roots are good. You can see that. All right. Uh, they are clinging on to the pumice, cocoa chips, uh, peat moss, and also uh, polite. This is a, a substrate all right, for this plant. And uh, this is the original uh, stem. This is the area roots that have gone into the substrates. All right. Very, very strong and also stable. Uh, this is the cut that I made of this plant two months ago. I took three cuttings, two meat and one top cutting. And um, as you can see, this is a new shoot that came out, all right? And I got two leaves and one new shoot coming out. The plant is in. I've given it a pole to climb to ensure that the leaves will get uh, bigger. You notice that the pole is not centered. It is uh, not necessary to center the pole. The most important thing is to make sure that the root ball that goes in to the pot sits comfortably inside the pot. Let me show you the uh, area root that has gone into the moss pole. I uh, deliberately uh, all right. Uh, I deliberately uh, inserted this uh, area root into the moss pole uh, to help it uh, get a grip quickly. Uh, the faster it get a grip, the stronger this plant will become. So back into polite, some lacquer, some pumice, cocoa chips, peat moss. So here are my three propagated plants. This is the uh, top cutting. It's doing well. A uh, area roots have uh, firmly lodged into the uh, substrates right here. And this is the other two uh, meat cuttings. That they are throwing out shoots and uh, and growing well. Apropranium amplicimum silver